Hey guys, welcome to this tutorial. Today I'm going to uh, show you a application, mini application that I wrote in JavaScript. And all it does is basically it has a uh, image gallery with however many images that you want to upload. And when you click next, it show it goes to the next uh, set of 15 images. You can, of course, you can change the height and width and change the number of images that are shown per uh, picture, per uh, per per slide. And here the current frame is dynamically changed. So if I click next again, next again is the third frame and last one. If I click on previous, it goes back to the original one. And okay, number of frames of pictures three and 38. Those are counted uh, via JavaScript. So if you change the number of pictures, those will change. Uh, what won't change is how many, um, how what it divides or how it counts. Um, the number of frames because I basically said round up whatever how many images so 38 divided by 15 so 15 is 1 2 3 times 1 2 3 4 5 so 15 pictures per slide so uh, 38 divided by 15 is 2.45 or something like that and I basically round it up so I get 3 that's how I got to those numbers and that's where I got the 3 here and then 1 is just simply uh, if I want to click next increase this by 1 next again increase it by one again and if I click previous decrease by one that's basically how I do it and uh, yeah you can you can pretty much customize it I made these into links the images are clickable links so you can make uh, so you can input some kind of a light box feature as well and um, like always I'm going to uh, have a little JavaScript uh, zip file here or I mean a little bit of a zip file here where I can basically go through all the code that I made in this one, I just made it all into one index.html file. There you have the CSS. There you have the um, uh, the the link files, and below I I have commented it quite well, so you can understand each and everything that I am doing. And of course, this, I didn't comment this part because it's pretty much the same thing as the previous function, except in the opposite direction. Basically, the top part is for the next button, and then the bottom part is for the previous button. And that's where I included the JavaScript at the very bottom of the HTML page. And uh, yeah, that's uh, pretty much it. Come to my website, download the zip file here, and um, and in the future I might actually change the location of these zip files. So I, I shouldn't really tell you to come here because I'm going to be writing a blog, starting up a blog uh, pretty soon. Hopefully, if I find the time, and um, if I do find the time to make a blog, I'll be uh, putting all my zip files there. So <laughs> these videos might be a little bit out of date, but I'm going to also change it um, all on the in the comment sections of where the new download links are so that's that and I hope you guys I hope you guys enjoyed my little tutorial and my little application that you can play around with uh, everything is for free um, except the the images that I used here I got them off of Google because I just had to uh, I, I was lazy and I was just I just I had to find like small images too so I got them off Google. Don't use the photos that you see here for uh, for your personal website. They are not for commercial commercial use, uh, commercial use, whatever. <laughs> oh hey, and you guys, uh, if you guys don't mind, please leave in the uh, comment section below what kind of accent you guys think I have, because I think I kind of have like American accent, but um, I'm not entirely sure. So please leave in the comment section below what type of accent uh, you guys think I have. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed everything and I'll see you guys next time.